if you're looking at an expansion anchor such as a sleeve anchor or a through bolt, it gives one installation setting torque, which you would use with a torque wrench. With a concrete screw, we don't normally put them in by hand. We'd use something like this, which is an impact wrench, and the figures in the ETA are very, very different. For example, a 10 mil concrete screw, it's saying that an impact wrench can install at 440 newton meters torque. But when it's installed by hand, which is typically not done, with a torque wrench, it's only 71 newton meters. So the reason that the torque settings on the impact wrench are a lot higher is because if you can imagine the concrete screw, once you've drilled the hole, it's actually the threads are cutting the surface of the hole and they're self tapping their way in. It needs an awful lot more torque to actually cut the threads. So therefore 440 newton meters on the impact wrench is sufficient. What they're basically saying is once the screw's been driven all the way home, there might be cases where you can actually unwind the screw to put packers underneath. The problem being then is if you were then used to impact wrench to reset the screw without the resistance of the cutting threads anymore, you could over tighten and damage the screw. That's why they recommend that you then use your torque wrench to set to the 71 newton meters we talked about by hand.